So we so spoke I'm, a bit about yeah, that. Yeah. So I'm a traditional. I'll, okay. We said somewhat, somewhat traditional yeah. woman because um, you can't be traditional because because think about it. Yeah. Um, I used to say that. Yeah, I want a traditional woman, yeah. but we're never traditional. And mm. a woman, a woman, because we judge traditional by what a woman that's in the 1960s. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I bet you she's a modern woman compared to a woman in the 1940s. And I bet you a 1940s woman is a modern woman compared to the woman in the 1920s. Yeah. It's because we have inventions. Mm. We've got things that have been invented. You've got to remember, 40 years ago, they didn't have mobile phones. Yeah. So we have to adjust with the times. We, can, yeah. we move different. We've got more careers. We've got entrepreneurship. We've got so much things mm. going on. So it's hard to have the same old thing because yeah. we're moving with the times. In 20 years from now, they're going to call us traditional. Yeah. So it's, it's, you have to kind of move the time. But what, I think what it gets confused with is compatible morals. Your mm. morals have to be compatible. You can meet um, five nice people. It doesn't mm. mean you're compatible. Yeah. And I, think that, and, and I think that's the difference as well. So what do you tell your clients mm-hmm. about traditional women? Because you're saying the dangers of having... That's the name yeah, of the because... Guys that are ten, so alpha, alpha guys generally tend to be more successful with women. Beta males generally tend to get used by women mm-hmm. if they get women, and then they tend to be naive, and they they live in this this old fashioned world because a lot of beta males either two things about their growing up. I can tell. I'll go into women as well, but there's two things about men about the way they grow up which shape them for life. Because every person that's born, every man that's born, is born beta. Mm-hmm. It, they, it's developed through right. their experiences mm. so I've got a lot of men big men in my family guys that are serious you know serious guys carpenters welders plumbers serious serious guys so um and business as well um top level corporate and all that kind of stuff but a lot of guys either grew up with old people like I grew up with my grandparents but I was out on road <laughs> that's the difference mm. I wasn't inside I was never inside so I'm, now I'm old I'm inside but like they either with old people or they've got their female domi- dominated family so they end up nice they do little things like cross their legs and stuff like that well and like like this isn't it yeah oh you like know that. what that that I find and some guys drop it smooth it's, it's a little yeah. ick, it's an ick for me I'm not gonna lie yeah but like <laughs> that's not my bag so it's like um so so these guys grow up with a lot of female energy and it always stems from somewhere mm. so um whereas a lot of the guys that are alpha have that or they grow up with a single parent mum, but because their mum couldn't control them, they was always outside. Mm. So there's that as well. Mm. So it's all about how they how they their cloth. Mm. So with the beta males, as I said, they tend to be naive. So they still so they're looking for a woman like their grandma. Mm. A lot of them are in the kitchen cooking with their grandma. You know what I mean? So there's that as well. That's not a bad thing. I learned to cook, but I wasn't mm. inside. I was outside, but I learned little things. So. Um, the reason what, and um, the type of women woman that they're looking for doesn't necessarily exist like that. Yeah. She might exist, but not from not in the Western world. So if she does exist, exist, let's say for example, this beta male goes with the traditional woman, which is they probably don't even work housewife, right? But he'll be holding out for ages. Mm. That's that, and that's the point because they come a dime a super dozen. So it's like you can have somewhat traditional. Like for me, I'm looking for compatibility. Mm. I'm not looking for a good woman, bad woman, compatibility. None of us are perfect and none of us are really that bad. It's like the guy that you dated, he's not a bad person. Mm -mm. He just wasn't compatible for what you're looking for. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And I think we get caught up in um, this gender war where men are like women are shit and women are like men men are shit. Mm. And that's because they don't take accountability. Mm. It all starts from you because you you attract who you are. So, and you attract others as well, but it's for you to use your logic and say okay who am i going to give my time to Mm-mm-mm. so with the traditional you you'd have to go to like a third world country remote like with a hut or something like that mud huts or something so like that. so you're saying alpha male won't go for a traditional traditional woman no no they, they, would, they would well the thing is i've ha- I've had a traditional woman before like really traditional that to, wouldn't even work that would expect you to not that traditional because oh, okay. My mum and my nan worked, even though my okay. nan worked in a factory, mm. she st- and it was a low paying job. Okay. She still did something. Yeah. So from time to time. Mm. So, but her money wasn't needed. It just helped. Mm. So, um, but obviously in this time, the inflation's crazy. P- two people have to <laughs> hold it down. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's why when women talk about, uh, my granddad was a provider, I never had to work. It's like, yeah, but that was a different time. Mm. You know, my dad's True. first mortgage was about, 200 pound a month <laughs> you know what i mean come on man yeah you know what i mean so you can't that's not that's that's, that's my council tax mm. so um 
it's a different time. So two people generally, unless they're earning exponential wages, mm. they both had to contribute. Mm. I've been out with traditional before. That's what I was saying. Yeah. But it was good at first. I'm like, okay, this is refreshing. Yeah. It got boring real quick. So how was she explain? How was she traditional? with traditional? Yeah. Okay. So yes, yeah, she worked. She had a good job. She was very mm. intelligent. She had her masters and everything like mm-hmm. that. Um, she worked in for Barclays mm-hmm. corporate job. Mm-hmm. So that was cool. But she's very feminine, which I like. Mm-hmm. But she was always like to stay home. Mm. Always like to cook. Mm. So at first, that's great. She mm. loves to cook. Got yeah. a cookbook, cooking, staying at home, watch Netflix, yeah. and everything like that. When it came to going out and you, doing you, things, you live together and everything. Yeah. So she like did housework, all of yeah, that. Yeah, I've never come home and my food has not been ready. Oh, okay. But oh. that's before you ladies jump to conclusions. That's not me telling her that she's got to do it. Yeah. She wanted to do it. Mm-hmm. So thing is, we got at the time we got a really nice flat. Yeah. Because we was living in Canary Wharf, mm. and then, and we put that together, and she lost her job, and then I covered the bills until yeah. she was, she got sorted, and then. But she, when we got, when we got this place, she was like, you know what? I know exactly what I'm gonna do with this place, type of thing. So I ended up paying most of the bills. Mm. But she liked to look after. Every time she came home, she was already, the first thing she would do is take off her clothes clean. And then we had a gym downstairs. She'd go to the gym downstairs mm-hmm. and then come back up. And then she'd that's um, phone her family abroad, mm. but she wasn't from London. And um, but she would always text me and say, let me know what time you finish work because then she used to time it. So when I come through the door, sort of my food was ready. Really. And this is, as I said, this is not me telling her what to do. Yeah. This is what she wanted. Yeah. And I would get up to go to the fridge and she's like, where are you going? As me get a drink. And she'd be like, no, no, she'll go and get it. <laughs> like she, I never had to lift a finger in my own yard. Yeah. Wow, she's treated so, like a king. Yeah, yeah no. that was the good side. The yeah. bad side is that, you know, you know, I'm as traditional as I think I am. I'm tainted. You know what I mean? So I like a freaky girl. I like so I many different things. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> yeah, there's other things that I like. And I'm not saying, so, and that's where it gets a bit hard. So wait, so then you're saying, because obviously, oh yeah, that's another thing. I think traditional women basically back then, because sex back then, it's, it's always it, been. That's, it's just a breed. Yeah, like yeah. just just like, oh, don't talk about sex. Or that, yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. So does that mean that she. And we didn't go out a lot. She wants to stay home. Like she, Even if we went out, she's like, oh, can we go home now? And it's like there was no like let's go out and have some yeah. fun and do some crazy yeah. shit and like, sometimes you need to let loose a little bit mm. and there's only so much in the house you can be doing and i noticed i was getting without working it out at the time i was getting a bit depressed mm. bit strong word but i was just getting a little bit down because mm. i wasn't I was, when i was working i was working in canary wharf living in canary wharf and i'm like i ain't left canary wharf in six weeks mm. and i clocked it and i was just like nah i've got something's got to change Okay. But she's very homely, which is good. But in modern times, yeah. I want a bit of bit of both, a balance. I'm not saying I got to be out here raving, yeah, yeah, but yeah. just like I know what you mean, yeah. spice up like basically that fire. Like yeah, yeah, you yeah. want to spice up the relationship, basically. There you go. Yeah, yeah. 